Hi, this is Silas Marshall with the Word Doctor Ministries. I'm going to pick it up uh, today with Apostle Paul. Yesterday I had mentioned to you that I saw in the Bible in Revelations after I started understanding that the saints of God would be overcome and warred against them. That disturbed me. I wanted to find out what does that mean? Nobody could explain it. Well, I'll tell you, this is a long and tedious journey. Sometimes you straight up be by yourself in a wilderness experience. And don't nobody help you. They don't know how to help you. Because they can't answer these questions. Well, when I found that out, that's when I started digging deep. Oh, yeah, I started digging it up. I want to know. And I got so much knowledge. See, that was my gift. And that was my talent. And I got that without repenting. I had not repented. Okay? I had not repented. I just started learning that I better repent. Huh? God brought that to me, you know, because I'm getting to that age where, you know, I, I be leaving him soon. So he told me, you better get to repenting, boy. You know, I'm trying to preach to folks and tell them something about me. Hmm? that I want you to make it. And so that's what I began to do. And so that, that completes me. That the knowledge that I have, I'm gonna share it if he say the same. I'm trying to. I'm trying to let y'all know that the enemy's coming in some period of time. The Bible says it's 42 months. One other book tells you that uh, in Daniel, it talks about time, times, and half the time. Daniel 12, okay, the Old Testament, okay, then Paul, you know, Apostle Paul, 2 Thessalonians, second chapter, the whole chapter is about this Antichrist, about the great falling away, you see, God is not playing with us. He's sending the devil to jam us up just like he allowed righteous brother Job to get tested. See, God is testing us for a certain reason. You see, so you can't play act. You ain't no actor like Denzel that he get paid millions and millions of dollars. You ain't no play actor. You playing, you playing with God. When Denzel acts, he playing a part, but he ain't playing God. I'm just saying, if you're an actor, you're an actor. But if you're an actor and why you being a preacher, or playing a prophet, a saint, sitting up in them pews and don't know nothing, thinking that as long as you pay your tithes and offerings, you're going to be all right? No. No. All you're doing is feeding the beast. You, 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 you feed the game. He wants people to understand the truth. The truth sets you free. That's right. Free from what? Being deceived by the devil. Being deceived out of your life, life, life inheritance. Not these little life insurance policies here. When somebody die, you get some money. You get an insurance policy. And then you die and hit to pass it on down to somebody. No. And then and y'all stumble up in the, in, in, in the system end up getting it all. Okay, we, we're in a dirty trap down here on this earth. But if you want to be free, God got a freed up plan. See? He got a forever plan. Life insurance policy that lasts forever. You see, we live a short time here in this spectrum. But it's a long time in eternity. And you're going to be awaiting if you die, and if you ain't in Christ, you ain't, they say absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. That's if you a saint of God, okay, who he knows ain't been taught right, but he'll bring you on into his bosom and love you and put you on his right side. That's right. Until this period is over. See, but if you die as a sinner, and the evil and talking about him like these men that I knew that, that, that were rich and famous indeed, 
and they couldn't keep their mouth off of him and they had all the money that they needed. But yet they were talking about him like he was a an animal, a dog, like he was not he was faking. I dared him. I dared him to say something. I ain't talk about too. I said, what's wrong with these guys? All they do is sit around and play chess and we in there writing and coming up with hit records and they got they, they, they Jesus didn't die, he faked his death, and then they arguing about it, you know, two different ones arguing about this, both of them wrong, I found out later, because I, I just knew it just bothered my heart, I'd leave the room, mm -mm. but the younger brother, he wasn't into it, he the one that led the older brother to the promised land as far as the money go, yeah, because he got the hits first, you know, and he said, hey, brother, come on, man, they make this money with me, so he brought him in, and they brought in the third partner, and they all three, it was a, a trio of uh, songs. They're the greatest. They, nobody wrote more hits than these guys but the Beatles. And they, they was big time. And, you know, I liked them. They liked me. I was in the inner circle. You understand? They taught me the game of the music business. You know, the business of music, baby. You got to know that if you're in it. You know, this is now today people have learned that through Prince, putting a slave on him, you know. Uh, Michael Jackson fighting for his and almost died broke, but overworked why he did. It just messed up. Shouldn't have been that way, ever. But uh, this game is a trap, baby. And the evil be riding. Yeah, that's right, because the devil is behind it all. But you see, he got a bigger, bigger plan than that for us. Because he's coming up to the saints of the Most High God. That's in Revelation 13 and 7. And the reward against. And then Apostle Paul tells you all about it in 2 Thessalonians, 2nd chapter, like I'm saying. See, well, you're going to be able to hear that exactly how it's going to go down. It's a period of, the, of time that we must understand that no preacher and no one is talking about. You won't turn to, to any Christian station any channel and hear about the evil day. You just won't do it. Maybe in a blue moon you might be blessed to find somebody. But the evil day is a three and a half year period. God talks in terms of that period as 1,290 days. He said that's the time the devil's going to be on earth. Yeah, I added up, get a calculator. That's three and a half years. 42 months. Okay? That's, this side's going to go down. He going to have power over the saints of God for 42 months. And if we don't have provisions put up like we tell everybody to church, bring some canned food so we can get to the pub, we're going to be the pub. We're going to have to have somewhere to go and eat. We better be able to go to uh, a friend's house, go to the church, go s somewhere where people is friendly to you. Because you can't go to straight up in the society anymore. You can't buy or sell. You're, 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 you're been, you've been blackballed. And he's looking to hunt you down. God said if you be quiet and agree with your enemy in the way, then you'll be all right. I had another so-called saint tell me, uh, uh, I said, hey, you can't let your left hand know what your right hand doing. She said, oh, that sounds like game. That, that ain't in the Bible. Well, people just don't read the Bible then. Because that's God saying, look, you can't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Especially at this time. At this time, you need to learn how to tell the devil a lie like he lied. And a lie could just be, listen, I know uh, you know, they're coming to you and they'll say, you know, uh, Jesus is in the you know, he, he just came here he at the farm, he at the park, he at the beach. And you say to them, hey, yeah, I know, I'm on my way. Because see, they don't really know, they ain't got no discernment at this time. They don't know who you are. So you just say, yeah, I know, I'm on the way. You know what you do? You go home. You go home and hopefully you then did right and got your provisions. Where you're going to be able to eat, you're going to be able to sleep in peace. Because God's angels, his born angels is watching over you, baby. Ain't nothing going to happen if you be obedient. But ain't nobody telling you this. It ain't like you get up into some magazines tell you, okay, this is what you got to do. You got to dig this out. 
See, I call it a, a, a spiritual shovel because you got to dig, dig. See, see, you know, I found a lot out about, about the Bible too after I read the Bible way later on in life about Enoch. See, I heard Enoch in the, in the family tree. See, seventh from Adam. And he was the great, the, the, the God, uh, the great God, Godfather, the grand grandfather of, um, of Noah. And his book is amazing because he begins to tell you about those angels that came to earth back in Genesis 6. You see, y'all don't hear me though. See, they've been here before and they're coming again. That's right, this time, they're getting kicked out of heaven for good. See, right now, they can still go back and forth up in heaven to accuse other brethren. But when they cast out they, the angels and everybody's clapping and praising the Lord, saying, hey, thank you, Jesus. Thank the Father. Hallelujah. The accuser of our brothers has been cast down, but woe to the inhabitants of the earth. But the devil has come down, and he know he has but a short time. <laughs> and he coming straight at us. Okay? He coming straight at us. You know, just like these uh, folks running around here, you will not replace us. You will not replace us walking around with sawed-off guns and, and, and uh, AR-15s and, and sidearms and, and, and all kind of weapons. They attacked the White House. But the same spirit, same, them the same one spirit, I mean, that hung us and killed us and then took our property even after we wasn't messing with them. We were segregated and we began to prosper. They hated it. They wanted your woman. They come kill you and take your woman. Did y'all know that was happening? That's why I hate to see mixed couples myself. I know you say he's crazy. No, because I think black people need to be black people. That's right. To make more black babies. Right. Because they never liked us. They've been taking our women and, uh, and murdering us to take our women. I could tell y'all so much, but I ain't then you say he's a hater. He said, he's not preaching hate. No, I want to preach Jesus Christ and that he is the one who gives us eternal life and he's the one who forgives us. See, he's going to take out, if that ain't supposed to be said, he's going to take out of my heart and tell me don't even worry about it. And, and many times what he said, don't even worry about that because I'm the judge. I'm the one getting ready to put it down. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. He said, look, uh, Brother Silas, you just cool out. You know how you was it want to do this and that, but if you had money and all like that, good you did. See, because then you'd have to pay for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, I made it, y'all. That's right. I made it. Mm. I made it. I thank God I made it. Now, if you want to make it and you got an ear to hear what the church needs to hear, what the Spirit is saying to the churches, then you need to search yourself because see, it ain't it ain't me that get that, that, that's the only one that could tell you. You got to find this out for yourself. And if you find it out for yourself, you really know it. See, you can doubt any man, but you won't doubt yourself once you get it. So it's worth it's 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 well worth you getting this for yourself. Study to show yourself approved. It work when unto God, not being ashamed. By rightly dividing the word of truth. That's how you find it. That's how you begin to understand who you are. And how you fit into the bigger plan. The eternal plan. You see, the devil got a short goal plan. Hmm, he know he ain't going to have but three and a half years, baby. And then they gonna, and then God say he's locking them up hmm, for a thousand years. Because it ain't over yet. See? This stuff gets deep, and I can't even get no deeper on it to you. You got to study some of this for yourself. Because if I told you some of the mysteries I know, you really think I'm crazy. So let's just leave it up to the Word of God to teach you. That's how I feel about it. I'm giving you scripture. I'm telling you where to go read to start. You see, I had to seek this out, dig it out. But here, I'm telling you, this is what preachers are supposed to do. That's what they for. What you think got preachers for? God say, you, you can't get to the word unless you got a preacher. But if he's in error, you ain't learned nothing. You ain't get nothing yet. Hmm? But complacent, lazy, thinking you got it made in the shade. Mm -mm -mm. No. 
Nah, you got work to do. Hmm. I'm sorry to tell you. You think you didn't did enough, and you still say, well, what I got to do now? You got to learn of him. Study to show yourself approved. That's right. A work unto God. Not being ashamed when you stand before him by rightly dividing the word of truth. Mm -hmm. See, when you do that, he's going to say, well done, enter into all that I prepared for you from the foundation of the world. And then someone's going to say, well, God, I did miracles in your name. I, I, I raised the dead. I, I fed millions. I, I gave. I did. And he's going to say, be gone from me. See, that bothered me too. I want to understand that. Be gone from me, ye workers of iniquity. I do not know you. I said, why, what? So that meant these folks was with God. They had, they had some gifts and talents. And he said, be gone. You know why? Because they living up in great big old mansions. They riding around the poor and the homeless every day and walking over dead bodies almost and, and ain't giving to them and ain't helping them. And you go to their church, you can't get no help if you've been tithing for 50 years there. Okay? They put the, the, the church need this and the church need that before you. That's not the way it go. In Acts of the Apostles, they were in one mind and had agreed on everything. And they parted their things as people had need. So say a billionaire would come into the midst of them. He would give some big money so that the rest of them would have something. Every man that needed would have his needs met. What's wrong with that? If you're in the kingdom of God, if y'all working towards eternity, huh? That's what we're supposed to do. We got to do that in this end time here. That's right. That's the only way we're going to survive it. Mm -hmm. But if y'all don't get with it, that's okay. God will save some of us anyway. He'll hide us from the evil one. See, because he can't have God's anointed. See, if they anointed and they're washed in the blood of the Lamb, he can't have them. All right? He don't show them how to escape this. You know, there's a way of escape. Where there's a will, there's a way. And God didn't have them. He got a road map. You know what? I got a little book that'll help you, but, you know, it's so deep. The book is deep. I'm going to tell you, the book is more deep than what I'm telling you. Because I, I found out a whole bunch of stuff that's in that book. But it's called The Christian Handbook of Survival by Brother Silas Marshall for the Word Doctor Ministries. It's everywhere. Get it. I wish I'd give it to you for free. I don't have enough copy to give y'all free. Plus, I don't even know who's listening and who wants it. Because I sure would give you one if somebody has. I gave it to some preachers and they ain't never said... Man, that deep look, I don't believe nothing you said. Uh, nothing. No conversation whatsoever. No feedback. Just be uh, looking at me crazy and acting all crazy. And, you know. Because, see, I'm a singer. One time I was singing up at the church. Oh, you saying too loud. I said, hey, you know this coronavirus been out here. Uh, you, and, and, he, and, and listen, everybody's saying, but he's hollering at me. I kept my composure because I know you don't so no problem with the brotherhood. And, you know, I was trying to <laughs> trying to find a church home, but they won't let you. They won't let you. They won't let you. Boy, they won't let you. The preachers in there tell my, you know, you can go and uh, divorce your wife and get you another one up in here if you want to, some other church, and you can uh, have another one on the side. And I said, who's the square I think he talking to? Been up at church all his life, and they gave him a ministry. And he's going to tell me because he's trying to get me to be one of his deacons. And he's going to think that that's supposed to make me happy. That's supposed to make me feel excited. I come out the world. I didn't need you to tell me. I told him to his faith. I don't need you to tell me how to sin, man, how to deal with women. You understand? I, I, I come out of that, man. I did a whole lot of you. don't even understand what I did. So listen. No, I can't be a deacon partner. I'm just going to keep coming to church worship. That's what I do. I go there and worship. But I can't. I ain't going there no more. 